Okay, in this video I'm going to go over radical operations and what I mean by that is like um, adding and subtracting radicals and multiplying and dividing radicals. So let me start off with an example here. Let's try negative 3 root 12 say plus, I don't know, 4 root 75. So we can't really add these right together um, this is this would be very similar to the idea of you can't go 3x plus 4y equals positive 1xy or something like that. That's just not a thing. We can't do that. We can only, in math, we only add things that are we, what we would say are like quantities. So to get like quantities, like quantities, we're going to try to get these radicals into uh, simpler forms and perhaps they share the same radicand. So root 12 I know is uh, root 4 times root 3 and root 75 would be root 25 times root 3. So negative 3 times uh, square root of 4 is negative 6 root 3 and square root of 25 is 5 so this is 20 root 3. And now we have the like radicals and we can add these. So negative 6 plus 20, that is 14 root 3. Okay, let's try another one. So we'll do, say, 4 cube root of 16 plus 3 times the cube root of 54. Okay, now instead of looking for perfect squares as factors in a radicand, we're going to look for perfect cubes. So I think in where here we have the cube root of 8 times the cube root of 2 and 54 um, I think that must be oh if we have 54 we get 27 so this is 3 times the cube root of 27 times the cube root of 2 um, so this is 8 cube root 2 and this is uh, 3 times, three. this is 9 cube root 2. And we can add these together now. So that's uh, 17 cube root 2. Okay, let's try something else, something slightly different. Let's do square root of 20x. Uh, let's do x squared y. Oops, that's supposed to be a square. And from that, we will subtract 2 times the square root of 45, y to the power of 3. Okay, so we're trying to find perfect squares in here. So uh, this is the same as root 4 times root x squared times root 5y. So I factored out two perfect squares from that term. And in this one, we get uh, 45, that'd be 9. So this is a square root of a 9. And y squared, we can think of as being, or y cubed is a y squared times a separate y times a root 5. Because I still have my 9 times 5 to get the 45. So now that I've identified some perfect squares, I can uh, simplify them. So this is 2x root 5y. And we have here is 2 times 3 is 6 and a y. So this is 6y. And we're left with a 5y. So this we can, um, these we can add, we can factor out a root 5 on this, root 5y. So it's 2x minus 6y. So just to highlight, because it's a bit, a bit different, once again, I'm identifying perfect squares. So there's a, f there's a 4 and a 20, and an x squared is a perfect square. And there's a 9 and the 45. And in the y cubed, there's a y squared, which leaves off uh, a y. Okay, so that's adding and subtracting square roots, or is radicals. Let's do a couple multiplication. Okay, let's try um, negative 3 root 2x times 4 
root 3x. Oh, so what we'll do is we're just going to do, I'm going to do some regrouping here. So, and reordering. So I got a negative 3. I have a 4. I have a square root x and a square root of, I have a square x from there. I have a square root of an x there, and then that leaves me with a 2 times 3. So that gives me negative 12, and then root, root x times square root of x is x. So there you go, simplified. Let's try another one. Let's use the distributive property at this time. So we'll have, um, say, 2 root 3 minus 3 root 2, and then we'll multiply that by a number, another binomial. Let's do a 2 root 3 plus root 2. Okay, let's FOIL this. So this is what we're looking to do, multiplying everything by everything. So I get 2 root 3 times 2 root 3 plus 2 root 3 times root 2 minus 3 root 2 times 2 root 3 minus 3 root 2, I'm going to run out of space there, times root 2. Alrighty, so this is, it's 4 times 3, so that's a 12. This is a 2 root 6. Um, root 2, that's a negative 6 root 6. And this one over here is, it's a 3 times 2, so that's a minus a 6. Okay, so we can gather like terms, and that leaves us with 6 minus 4 root 6. Alrighty, let's do one like this. Um, let's do, let's do the, All right, let's do one like this. Let's say we have the square root of x uh, minus 2, and that's all squared. So there's two ways to do this. We could rewrite this like that. And I'll continue. One thing to note is this is not equal to uh, square root of x all squared minus 2 all squared. That's not a thing. OK, let's do this. So square root of x times square root of x is x. Uh, square root of x minus 2 is this. And then doing these two, that's minus 2 square root of x again, and then plus 2 squared. And we get x minus 4 root x plus 4. Uh, there's another way to, to do this as well. I mean, it's very similar, but this is just recognizing that this is a a minus b all squared, which is a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. So where a is the, oops, where a is the square root of x and b is the 2. So um, just going directly from this pattern, then that that is our x. This is um, negative 2 times 2, so negative 4 root x, and that's a plus 4. All right, let's try one more, I guess. Why not, right? It's fun root 3 minus root 5. Multiply that by root 15 plus root 5. I think there's a few ways to do this. Um, I think, I think I'm going to rewrite this with, uh, uh, no, I'll just keep it like this. Okay. So I get a root 45. I have a uh, plus root 15. This is a minus, uh, whoa, what is that, 5? That's 75. Minus root 75. And that's a minus root 25. So this, I'm pretty sure we can simplify a little bit. Um, this is root 9 times 5. That's just 15. This is root 25 times 3. That's minus 5. 
let's do a little bit more work on this. This is a three root five. Do we have it? Okay, that's yep. Yeah. So three root five plus root fifteen minus oops minus five root three minus five. I think that's as good as you're going to get this. It can't be simplified anymore. All right, there you go.